are squawking dead. And welcome back. I know we didn't broadcast on Sunday night like we promised you again. I'm your host, David Cameo, and I am joined by Cosmo Mom 09 Rachel Burt. And as uh, as n- not always, but as always, she is OG Squawkin' D Carol G. That was like kind of half wrestling presenter, half um, was like, what are the dudes called when they, they, they score the soccer? Oh, or they, the football? Yeah, commentators? It was kind of like yeah. the goal! <laughs> it was like <laughs> a little bit match. Little, yeah. little, little hodgepodge. Anyway, so um, we're here and we're actually, uh, last week we broadcasted on Periscope for the first time. We're doing it again now and um, we are broadcasting on low latency, which means we'll see your comments a whole lot faster. Um, for one thing, um, also, uh, and Thomas says, hi, Carol, uh, he missed you. Hi. <laughs> He's so we're all- sweet. Yeah. We're also broadcasting on Twitch and Mixer. If, uh, some of you got some of you guys who didn't know, and some people who do follow the Twitch news, um, there's this guy named Ninja who used to stream on Twitch a lot. He's like the number one, um, esports gaming person on the interwebs. And he made this bold announcement that he's moving from Twitch, which basically gave Gave Twitch a name. I mean, it had been known, but never as popular as uh, when Ninja was on it. So he moved over to Mixer, like Microsoft's version of Twitch, which since then it's just been blowing up. So I said, eh, you know, I'm, re- I'm streaming through Restream, so I might as well go for it. Um, so I, so we're doing that. We're streaming on now Twitch, Mixer, Periscope, YouTube, Facebook, and of course, Walani, because I see you there, Instagram. <laughs> Um, so, and a partridge and a pear tree to you too. So, <laughs> so that's what we're doing. Um, and I, I actually have all of you, Stacy, Tom, I have this really cool chat app that I can see all your chats in at once. So hopefully there'll be a little bit more reaction time from all of us. So, uh, yeah, except for, except for Instagram, you're still kind of stuck. And hi, Walani. See, and I, now what I can do with Instagram is I can wave back at you. Boom. I bet you didn't know I could do that. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so what I wanted to do was talk to you guys after a little announcement about all the streaming services we're broadcasting on is the first thing and we just got a like from this by the walking dead's account the walking dead on amc i saw that yeah we we were able to pull all eight articles from michonne's multi-community charter for rights and of rights and freedoms um it has been updated on our blog we have links in our twitter like galore um you can get to our blog uh, by heading to squawkingdead.com main menu and then just click blog and you'll just see it right there i suggest the full screen because there are some images there. We have the original image from the first unveiling, and then we have the updated image with uh, I think it's Father Gabriel sweeping the uh, like the church oh, yeah, or the so meeting hall. Oh yeah, 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 at the entrance. Yeah. yeah. So um, so yeah, so I included that as well. Uh, I even included a footnote at the top, like with the update. Uh, and there are some holes missing, you know, um, from the article. But I mean, you really do get the gist. But here's the bad, the sad part. So there's the positive part is that um, the Walking Dead account liked that that post which like by the way sent me off into the hallway telling my wife like i felt like tom cruise like (laughs) except not as cool at all instead i looked like elaine dancing violently like on from science oh gosh i have no no shame no shame i i was so like over the moon about this so so i like i just like started kicking my feet out and going And, uh, and then I just walked in calmly and continued working because that's what I do throughout the day. <laughs> so that's what I do. Awesome. Uh, I got eye in the dark here. Oh my God, this is, this is wonderful. I, I love how I can see you guys like so like in one screen. It's incredible. Anyway, so the sad part is they released the video after that, just after that um, uh, with uh, the first article. Like they're, they're going through the first or the, I think it's either the preamble of the first article and I started thinking to myself all the things that made my what I was doing special is going to get ruined by these videos now. Because, like, now, I mean, on the positive side, like, everybody's going to be able to get all eight articles. But on the negative right. side, uh, it, it kind of takes our contribution and not flushes it through the toilet because we had it, we had like articles one through four or five and then eight, um, like, from March 1st, literally March 1st. Mm-hmm. So uh-huh. we had that for a long time. It's our most popular blog. We, it was like in the 300, it was almost in the 400s. Now, wow. like, in the 400s of views. Now wow. it's like ballooning to five, six, seven hundred right now, wow. which is g- 
good for us. <laughs> no, 100%. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty interesting. So I'm happy that they're coming out now. I will update the blog. It's going to be only a couple of edits because we have basically all of it. So I'm going to be rewatching the video again to see if we had it right. But I think we do. Um, the only thing is, and this is something I noticed, is that um, the they changed a word, one word from one of the articles when I looked at the new promo. Not this new, new video, but like the... The, the new promo um, and like the mo- the word changed from justice to sanction. Mm. So I have a feeling that, mm. I, and this is why I'm like, you know, maybe some other things will get changed too. So we're thinking about like doing a little shuffling and how we do the live bo- broadcast, because it's not that we don't like interacting live. It's kind of like been all what we're about lately. Um, but what it is, is we're going to try to n- incentivize like a real time chat that everybody can use to kind of like an exclusive intimate chat um, where all of you can touch base with us like immediately. Like basically you're going to be there almost as if you're there in the room with us. Um, and we're, we're trying to work on a way to kind of not only have you in in real time chatting with us and and we would have this live broadcast exclusive to to those who you know just would pay like like ah, like a buck a month or something like that uh, just to keep the lights on and um we will still be doing premieres either way we're gonna try to start this on twd season 10 um but if it doesn't work we'll just go back to the way things were but um and then we'll still be do- like doing premieres on facebook uh youtube all the streaming services that we're running off of right now and uh the point of that would be um so if we do the premieres we can interact with you live as you watch to kind of answer any questions or any doubts you have in real time so we're going to toy with that but in the meantime you've got us right where you want us so um and look somebody's already following on uh, mixer right now that's pretty cool nice. uh, oh and you? T- are you on mixer, <laughs> you on mixer? <laughs> casey murda 420 that sounds you like your mixer? husband actually it is <laughs> <laughs> KC Murda 420. Now yeah. you know his mixer handle. Uh, it's KC <laughs> underscore. No, no, you need to know this. KC underscore Murda, Murda. M U R D A underscore yep. 420. Yep. So you kind of know where he's at. <laughs> Personality. Headspace, wise. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I wanted to mention a couple more things and I, I'm going to try to race through these because obviously these are things that we said last week, but it bears repeating every week. New York Comic Con, we have a panel, we have a room, we have a time. We're doing a Walking Dead panel on Thursday night, 6.30 at room 1824. Um, this is 6.30 Thursday night. And yeah, it's, we're going to have some guests that uh, we'll, we'll probably lay on you as you get there. Um, we're going to probably talk about us for a little while. We're going to talk to our guests for a little while and we're going to open up the floor to you guys so it's it's an hour only uh but uh hopefully there'll be some interesting other surprises that i haven't mentioned here because we're still kind of developing it right now but we will Mm -hmm. also be live broadcasting it and using what we're using now to kind of reach you right now that's kind of the whole purpose the the whole thing that pushed me to do all this streaming is is uh basically so that i could take this laptop bring it over to new york comic-con click a button you know and then have all these (laughs) streaming services like broadcast this thing and meg's on facebook hey meg hey meg that's cool. Our, our our girl Meg has uh Meg the Geek is is uh doing some work right now. She couldn't join us, but she said she's joining us in spirit in the comments. So we miss you. Very much. <laughs> okay. So New York Comic Con's out of the way. Walker Stalker, we have a table and uh <laughs> we have press passes, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do, but uh, yeah, and we're, and Blazy, we're going to see you in Atlanta too. Yeah, so um, we're still trying to figure out what we're going to do with the pr- with the press passes because we get four, um, but only one person can do can do uh, cast interviews. So mm. I've put my hat in the ring for Carol, and I'm going to bear it, embarrass her on air. She's oh I've done God. it a million times, but I said she's just she was just on fire and on point, like interviewing Tom Payne. So I thought uh, I'm going to embarrass her and put her out in the forefront, despite all her anxieties to kind of talk to everybody else we'll see what happens we'll see what happens hopefully yeah. lightning strikes twice <laughs> <laughs> yeah hopefully like hopefully lightning strikes me before i get to do this <laughs> it's gonna be work oh, no. i guess so um yeah we're gonna figure it out um I'm, i still haven't looked at the guidelines and all that stuff because there's just so much stuff to do beforehand like getting business cards printed out for the yeah. vip swag, swag. bags 
Yeah, I have to do it three times too. I have to. I probably have to print out like three thousand business cards. One for the swag bags, one for Walker Soccer, and then another for New York Comic Con. That's true. You know? And I'm thinking of printing out stickers and buttons and stuff to kind of give out to everybody people while I'm at it. Love stickers and pins. People love free shit. Well, yeah, in general, yeah. And usually small free shit. Nobody small, likes the big free exactly. shit. No. So um, Wonderful. so that's happening. Yeah. So table for you guys to meet us talk to us charge your phones uh and maybe i'm working on maybe doing some refreshments and stuff like that so you know just like hydrate you know what i'm saying um and yeah i mean more stuff in store like we're we're still trying to figure all this stuff out like so we'll see soon um so i have a story uh it's kind of a short story basically my wife just came back from a brunch on sunday with her colleagues from school like some some of the colleagues that one of them was on maternity leave for a long time she really didn't get the chance to kind of talk to her and all that and she is sitting down with all these people. She talks about, you know, The Walking Dead and what I do. And they're like, oh, we're going to watch the first episode. And they ended up watching it, right? So they're like, okay, we'll watch the first episode of the first season, the pilot, and, and so on and so forth. Well, we're determined to catch up so you can listen to your podcast. Here's the thing, though. She, one of the colleagues gets back to my wife and says, oh, my mom taught at Sid, Sidwell, uh, which is like an elementary school, I think, or a middle school. Anyway, turns out she was teaching at the same time John Bernthal was was learning there okay <laughs> now oh. i quote i quote now, like see so here's the here's like the, the revolving door of like the connections that we somehow seem to have like my friend um john who you know carol um taught um uh, angel theory right mm -hmm. kelly right i remember wow. you saying that yeah right? and now john bernthal was my wife's mother's not student but she hit the reason why she knew that was because john bernthal was quote quite a handful <laughs> I could totally see that. <laughs> I, I believe that. I believe that 100%. Yeah. So yeah. that, I mean, there's not much of a story to that, but I just find that kind of like, A, hilarious. B, the teacher connection is is real. Yeah. It's real. So, I mean, I didn't think that would pan out, but uh, like wow. like marrying a teacher, I dated a lot of doctors, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying right now. I'm glad. I, and then so here's, the, here's the spectrum, right? Okay, let me uh -huh. just show you the spectrum. Okay. The doctors over here, and I dated like three of those. Really? And then I and then I wow. dated an artist over here because you right. know the creative you know yeah, that's medical a very big difference yeah and then I kind of met in the middle with the teacher didn't I that is true that <laughs> this is a little left true. brain little right brain yeah, yeah that's true that's true and there was a middle <laughs> middle oh and it, Tom was saying even saying like he admits that in interviews that's well, funny confirmed. Confirm Confirmed. that. Just saying. Um, so <laughs> I know. Yeah, well, Lonnie's saying small world. See, I can see your asses no, right now. <laughs> um, now, you may be noticing what the hell is Squawking Dead doing on this shirt? I it's clearly that. not a Squawking Dead shirt, right? <laughs> so um, I got uh, this shirt from Thorgon9 on Instagram, uh, and it's a Walker Tip shirt. I, see, now I'm so fat that you can't see this whole thing. Oh, stop. <laughs> But Stop it. Oh, there's, Connie. There's Connie. There's yeah. the walker oh, yeah. and there's the baby, which is reminiscent of the Instagram live that he and I did when he just came out out of nowhere as they're about to get the baby. And he walked <laughs> into frame with a walker baby mask. Oh, my God. Which yeah. everybody was just I was in tears <laughs> laughing about. So I said, you know, I put that. that on the front. That was now awesome. <laughs> I'm going to do this, but on the back is my favorite Walking Dead, Fear the Walking Dead character. Can you guess who it is? I got one or two guesses. Right? <laughs> well, why don't you take a guess right now while I get this sorted out? Morgan. Boom. You win the tuna. <laughs> Wow. I know, can you see all of it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's hilarious. Can survive. That's awesome. Yeah, that's a now, good as picture, you can too. See, yeah, that's a really good picture. Now, as you can see, um, he the, what he does are these walker tips. Now, for, for those who are uninitiated, oh, and Chris <laughs> says hi on the Instagram chat. Seems to be his thing of choice. Um, <laughs> For those un uninitiated, Thorgon 9, Dom, as he's not never called, no. um, he creates these little walker tips on his Instagram. And he does, this is what he does. And uh, it's like usually a frame from, from the show and a quote. You can feel like an, almost like an inspirational quote. Like if, kind if, of, if, yeah. If usually. If you've been here, you're there. You know, like. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and yeah, they're numbered sequentially. And he's like up to, mm -hmm. I mean, he's up to like at past 900, I think now, right? Yeah, I think he's up over 900 by now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So Left my question. Nine something, yeah. My, my question is. 
is like, is he going to stop at, at like a thousand? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> or like at nine ninety nine? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. There's too much to say. Plus the colors, you know, like the colors, um, the darker colors, like the uh, the blacks come here, come out here, like kind of like purple, kind of like your inkjet pr- printer was kind of. <laughs> running out of one or the other ink which but yeah. i think it makes it look cooler like it's more purple like where the blacks are kind of yeah, yeah in yeah, a way i like it too i kind of like that it looks like a printer that was running out of ink or something <laughs> <laughs> so it's just very dave like uh, a la like late uh, early 2000s late 90s with the with the bubble jet printers oh god <laughs> So anyway, so I've spoken long enough. The reason why I even brought this up, I wasn't even going to go into it that much, but uh, guess who's back having done her alpha thing, her alpha thing. And if you've noticed, there's something a little bit different about Rachel today. Uh, you gonna you gonna show them or are you yeah. just you too embarrassed? Of course, no, okay. no. I'm a little I'm a little lighter now. Yeah. Ooh, hello, cue ball. Did, did you touch it up uh, when you got back home? <laughs> there it is. It's all gone. What was that? Oh, she, I was gonna say oh, she didn't hear me because your headphones off. Did you did you touch it up a little bit um, afterwards when you got home? I I did not. Thorgan okay. did oh. an amazing job. He did wonderful. We also had like seven people around watching at the time, so there was a lot of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but he did really good. No, he did really good. And it didn't take nearly as long as I thought it was going to. So, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was great because <laughs> in uh, you, I don't know if it was it recorded at all. Did somebody do the screen cap? Um, yeah. Um, Thorgan had a live going and then um, somebody had, yeah, my friend Amy had my phone and she was doing a live on mine as well. Okay. Okay. Good. Because yeah. for a while you were able to watch it on Instagram live, you know, for 24 hours when you mm-hmm. did it. I think it was Saturday night. Um, yeah. You did it like around, I want to say 10. It was like between 10 and 10.30, somewhere yeah, in there. Yeah. Like that. Mm-hmm. yeah, and uh, Thorgon himself, Walker mm-hmm. fella, uh, did all the shaving. And he yep. did a, quite a good job. We're joking along the way. We're telling him to... <laughs> we're, we're basically pushing... Who was doing the film? Was it Jeff, uh, um, Jeff that was recording? A few people... Um, a few different people had the phones. No, Jeff, I don't... To be I honest, the, I, don't know who had Thor, I don't know who had Thorgon's phone. Oh, okay, okay. I know Amy I heard, had mine. Liz might have... Or Karina... No, I think Karina did. Karina had Thorgon's phone. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Because I, yeah. I know I heard... Uh, Kelsey. Yeah, Kelsey was there too. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Kelsey, who is, uh, is, are they, they're married, right? Kelsey and um, I, Jeff? I believe they're dating. Um, okay. Yeah. Sorry about dating. that. I could be but, wrong though. I apologize Ke- if I am. Yeah, Kelsey Odell and then, um, what is Jeff's last name? I keep, uh, Wagner. Jeff Wagner. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. They Same were awesome with, people. Wonderful classic to Classic walker. He's like the, the ringleader of like all the walkers <laughs> too. Like yeah. Decision maker almost. <laughs> Anyways, I, I've talked long enough. Why don't you tell us what it was all about? Oh my gosh. I, to be honest, it would take an entire show to tell you everything that happened this weekend. It, I mean, it would take a, a whole weekend. Um, when I first flew in, we immediately went to the Woodbury shop uh, where I got to meet um, Sonia Thompson, who was amazing. Got an autograph, but lots of pictures with her. Uh, William Bell was there. Jeff Wagner was there. Got to meet all of them. Lots of fun pictures. They're all on my Instagram. Check it out. Um, after that, we had a tour booked at 3.30. I made a little bit of, I thought I was booking with one company, ended up being another one, but it, it ended up being the best mistake ever. Honestly, this tour was amazing. Um, first of all, it was just us. Like we were the only ones who bought tickets. So it was us and the guide. And we actually toured through the, um, the silo field. Uh, it was during season three when Rick and governor had their little sit down that Andrea organized. That's right. Where Merle bites it or Walker Merle? Yes. Yeah. Where Merle bites it too. Yeah. And, um, that was towards the end of the tour and I, he, I was standing right on the spot that Merle had died and I was like, why, why didn't you tell me to move? <laughs> this is consecrated it was, ground. <laughs> yeah. It was really awesome. He was snapping pictures of us, um, like in certain spots we even like um recreated a little scene that rick and daryl did when they were like sneaking up on the place and uh at a few (laughs) times some walkers jumped out and scared the shit out of us for real (laughs) (laughs) quite quite literally i'm not kidding you the noises they made were so authentic wait a minute you shit yourself a little (laughs) no Because you said quite no, but I no, I was no. We we literally jumped like we jumped out of our skin. It was mm-hmm. crazy. We screamed. It was it was awesome. They did really really good job. I can't wait to share the pictures too. Those should be up. Um, 
tomorrow night, I think. So hopefully they'll be ready. Um, after that, we, we had dinner at Nick and Norman's uh, with a group of amazing people. Got to meet um, Thorgan's family, and I mean, just right. it, they were amazing people. And then after that is when we did this. <laughs> and then uh, I took a shower so I wasn't so itchy and went right to bed. <laughs> then I, <laughs> the next morning we had coffee at uh, a really cute cafe right on Main Street. Um, met a few more people. Just, I mean, everybody we met this weekend was so amazingly nice and wonderful. And I, I honestly can't wait to get back into it all over again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Little known fact, by the way, where you were with uh, the governor meetup and all that stuff. Yeah. That's uh, called the Esco feed mill and mm -hmm. that's yeah. actually where they had the snow i dead bash last year and oh i want to say perhaps no no last year well, oh okay last, year, last may that's awesome yeah yeah the tour guide was full of all kinds of um information too he told us all about the walking dead and a whole bunch of other films that were, were that were shot right in that same area there was a lot of other movies that used the same area <laughs> it was cool it's it's, it's particularly pastoral yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's cool that's Beautiful really cool area so all in all you enjoyed your weekend oh my gosh i that's there are are no words to i mean i can't even say anything great enough to describe it honestly mm. and so that that's where we're gonna move on oh uh speaking of <laughs> speaking of rustic i got my hat back finally last week uh my like it looks like it's been through the walking dead <laughs> hat so i'll be it's wearing seen this better and, days yeah. okay. i mean the days just keep getting be better and better in my opinion <laughs> yeah the, the rattier this thing looks like look what happens if i do that <laughs> oh man <Aww. laughs> That's awesome. It's like bangs almost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. So <laughs> excuse my hair. I mean, my bangs. <laughs> <laughs> so you lose your hair, I get more. Ooh. Right. Ooh. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, yeah, so that's gonna join me down in uh, in uh, Atlanta, I think. So, I mean, as much as I was liking, so uh, the the hat that I had I had been wearing was uh, a hat with the little design in the at the top with a walker on it. Um, that was Brandon White, and I'll link to him in the description at some point. Um, God. And then um, yeah, I'll link to his Instagram and his uh, his Twitter. Um, but yeah, he's he's a great artist. He's you know, I, I might as well bring this up. He's actually um, trying to set up a another event after the week after Walker Stalker called the Haunt for Red October. So wait, mm. the Haunt for Dead October. Nice. Yeah, the, mm. the number four, and uh, that's the weekend after. So I figured I'd mention it now because this is definitely happening, and we're still trying to figure out if how. First of all, how many of us are going to come? Uh, it may just be me if if nobody else is going to be there. So <laughs> and now Jeff Jeff Wagner is like, what about me filming? <laughs> just. <started. laughs> <laughs> so there you go hi jeff uh, um, yeah you kind of missed that yeah that's but, funny like, we were talking shit it was really bad oh stop <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah my hair my bangs i would never say that no i'm just no no <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, yes. Yeah. So um, now they're gonna start chatting amongst themselves. But, <laughs> ah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So so uh, keep in touch. Um, uh, stay on our social medias. We may make an announcement about that within a week or two. Uh, you know, it should be sooner because the guy is like rushing to get all this stuff done. Because like he's it, he started figuring this out in August. And now it's like crunch time. You know, entertainment, refreshments, and stuff. So he's updating me all the time. He updated as we we're setting up the stream, and I was like, I just can't answer. I have to just mute this for a little while but um but yeah i'm 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 impressed with the level of commitment he's uh he's making right now to to this thing and i really i really do hope we can go i should be i think in west virginia because that's where he's from mm. so we're, we'll figure that out so anyway on to the show carol what do you want to start with Maybe just like the overall vibe and then we can get into specifics. This was very yeah. tense as an episode. I was very kind of like holding my breath at different points thinking, oh, oh is this going to happen? Oh, oh, it's, it's, and I, I have to say, the more I see, the more I feel like I, I just want fear to just go full Western, full zombie Western. Like I find that for me, I always like every time I see aspects of that, I, I just, I don't know, for some reason for me, it makes me happy. When I see this group of pioneers on horseback, like a little posse, I was like, this is awesome. So that's, that's, like, what, know, that's what does it for why. you, huh? <laughs> Even if they're why. evil? <laughs> It's an interesting take, you know, because you have John Dory, so. that's like the good, Maybe more. you know, John Dory is a good cowboy. And then you've got, you know, the bad posse, you know, like, I don't know. I kind of, I'm intrigued. Yeah. So. So I, I'm going to have a conversation mm -hmm. with Eddie. Eddie. <laughs> 
dress up in a cowboy outfit. <laughs> <laughs> You'll the big lady with baby She likes westerns. Like westerns. <laughs> you, do? you do? No, <laughs> I'm, not, no for, I, I'm not. But it's like there's something very like it's it's the it's the Oregon Trail lover in me. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Maybe okay. I mean, like, look at the response everybody had to the high women too, right? Yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. And that's what all of us were thinking this was going to be. Like, mm-hmm. the, oh, this is the origins of the highway, man. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> like, and, then, and then it just goes down. Yeah. Because that's how they introduce themselves to the group, mm-hmm. too. It's, like, just crazy. Like, and Blazy's saying, like, oh, it's like Blazing Saddles meets TWD. Because it's funny, too. I'm like, I'm not. It's, no, it's not yeah. funny. It's not, not funny. funny. As, no. as the Grim Reaper said in Bill and Ted, Bill and Ted's bogus journey, it's not funny. It's not right. funny. <laughs> For those who know. <laughs> <laughs> we, my sister and I used to go back and forth with that line. Just randomly, she would come into my room and says, "It's not funny." <laughs> so just walk away. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> it really isn't, too. Um, sorry. And Thomas is telling me to shush right now. I think that's more of an alpha thing, and I because I typed in in all caps, "There will be no conflict." <laughs> Anyway, so um, yeah, uh, yeah. So for all the tone that we've been getting thus far, like outside from I think the the pilot, not the pilot, the uh, season pre- the season premiere, because that was pretty exciting. That had action like right out of the gate. But like the number one complaint the see the season has had was there's like an overcurrent that is like all full of exposition and character development, and which is good. I mean, like we were interested, we're leaning in a little. But like the number one complaint is that the subcurrent, the subplot, like which is the arc of the season. Mm-hmm. has been moving really slowly yeah um, yeah and uh so i, I think for the one per, for I, rachel I, I don't remember if it was you or if it was meg that was that had made that complaint vocal first because I, th- I think it might have been you though yeah well i just kept questioning like who's the big bad guy this season like right. we're not yeah. like it's not i feel like a lot's happening but nothing's happening so yeah. you know what i mean and yeah, I, feel I just like, wanted to know who the yeah. bad guy was yeah and i feel like fear suffers from that a little bit because i feel like we got the same sort of kind of vibe last season where it was like oh the vultures they're the bad guy oh nope no they're they're gone. It's like, right. oh, yeah. well, oh, 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 now we got rid of her. It's <laughs> like, okay. So it's yeah. just always kind of, it's like, is this, like, they're, they're, they feel like they're villains, but they feel so minor. Because, I mean, basically, you're having two per season. Like, you, you have one, and then it's like, oh, they're not really, like, I feel like we're used to Walking Dead where you have, like, these villains that have such a presence, and, and they take up, like, seasons. Like, the governor was, like, multiple seasons. Negan mm-hmm. was multiple seasons, you know. Whispers are multiple seasons, you know, like, like, right. So even like Logan, it's like, oh well, never mind. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now, did you like that about uh, about what they were trying to do this season? Because I I really really liked that that they really kept you guessing on what this was supposed to be about, like or who <sighs> who was the major conflict, the subcurrent. I kind of I don't know either. Down. I don't know. I really don't know. I guess I'd have to wait till the end of the season to be able to answer it. Because right yeah. now, I'm not enjoying it. But at the end, yeah. it might be worth it. So yeah. I'm willing to wait. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Well, I so mean, I like knowing who the bad guy is. I like to have now, a clear villain. Now that you're here. <laughs> How do you how do you like this part? No, no, I still I, I I'm I'm still That's confused. Yeah. I'm still confused. Like it seems clear that Girl Kobe and her pioneers are gonna be the bad guys, but I'm still not sold on it because yeah. every time I'm convinced of a bad guy, I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe they need help. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. She seems pretty bitchy. As my yeah. husband said, that bitch is a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> murder 420 says that bitch is a bitch <laughs> that bitch is a bitch <laughs> so, yeah. some comments is are i'm already getting like like okay um chris says chris our chris is saying another female kids. big bad <laughs> southern type accent i see similarities oh. again next she'll go crazy and shave her head eye roll he literally typed out eye roll <laughs> nice. but then he also roll. included the emoji <laughs> no. just in case you weren't sure <laughs> No, but, sometimes you need to type it out for the emoji to show up, and then it's like, oh, if there's a space, and so like now in WhatsApp or something. <laughs> all the time. That's funny. Yeah. Uh, I roll. That is- <laughs> no, I'm making the eye roll. You're no, saying okay. it. <laughs> like literally, sometimes I want to put like, oh, I'm thinking about something, and I'll type hmm for like the face to like show up. <laughs> And it does. I do that too, though, I'll admit. But I won't like, because he put the words and then put the emoji. 
I don't know he's listening to me too. <laughs> Maybe he but, can explain what happened. <laughs> but, uh, the number one thing I've been hearing was that like um, less than that, like, you know, the alpha comparison, which is valid, by the way, that's way better than, I don't know if it's better or worse, but like people saying that, um, like this is like, like a, a bigger saviors. Uh, Do you get those vibes too? Or because a lot of people are saying that. No, not saviors, yet. Not yet. Not, not yet. I need to see more. To be By honest. all yeah. accounts, it's shaping up to be that, the, that this group, if it's anything that I'm thinking, this group is massive. We're talking about like, like puts the saviors to sleep. Uh, no pun intended or anybody yeah. who's on the saviors listening. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, I don't know. I mean, it, it's looking like that. Because if you look be. at the map, which I, I'll bring it up now, the map that Logan has has the same key shape symbol uh, that, I saw that that Ginny has on her jacket. Oh, I did not uh, notice that. So that, that like makes me think, okay, he has a map with w- at least our fuel drops, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Could be, though, because we don't know where the map ends up by the end of the episode. Could be that our group has it. And if they have yeah. it, they're going to go all like Rick at the satellite station. Whoa. <laughs> But here's the thing. At least they have a map. Ooh. Rick it did that, not have that. That's true. They were like yeah. stumbling around in the dark saying, we got this. He's like, yeah. you don't got this. He had the word of Gregory. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I didn't know where the sanctuary was. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, Xander Berkeley. She did mention multiple outposts too. I guess I never really made the alpha connection though. I I just I don't know because of the southern accent and Mm. Mm. hers is more of a Texan accent though. Yeah, you could just kind of tell. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I see it now because it's been pointed (laughs) out, but didn't jump out at me that way. The more I read this, by the way, Blazy's saying little hose on the prairie. Little what? (laughs) Little little hose on the prairie instead of little house on the prairie. (laughs) Sorry. Oh, <laughs> just God. kick it out of my head now. That's really funny. Um, <laughs> oh. anyway. so, uh, so Thomas actually right on cue is saying the Commonwealth. Now, I'm actually agreeing, but I will say this much. If it is the Commonwealth and it is huge and it's taking up multiple states, um, like this is the way. And yes, we should definitely get into this. But if, if the Commonwealth is that big, I the way I see this shaping out is that it's so big. Big, that it's like Napoleon big, like meaning it's stretched too thin. Mm. And so, okay. so because the, there's the keys, there's George's a key to the future. There's that kind of illusion in terms of comparisons. So there could be like a Georgie, like the main Georgie faction or the other character that's in the comic books, which I won't mention here because it's just not even worth it at this point. But then there's like, there could be this group also and they, they could be splintering off because clearly it's not the same group as Isabel. Like Isabel no. high high tech these guys are low tech yeah no, they're using they're fuel groups. yeah they're using fuel instead of like solar panels and water purifiers and i don't know why i'm no. using quotes because those are things <laughs> they're <laughs> real <air quotes. laughs> So, and okay, so, helicopters. And, the, and they've got helicopters. Yeah. So it seems to me like Isabel's more likely to come from the Commonwealth. I think right. so too. Than the than this group. Or they could be a faction of the Commonwealth too. I don't I mean I like don't a, know. I feel it's just a vigilante group. I, yeah, I, I I'm also getting the sense that they're and usually when people talk about how big and scary they are, they're usually not. They're usually not. Well, it's I usually an intimidation. I in the dark yeah. too is saying fifty five thousand strong, the Commonwealth. So, but that yeah, is a Commonwealth, yeah, that big number. Yeah. I mean, and I can see in the apocalypse how that would, that could be really, really, really too big, almost. You know, like in groups of like, I mean, how many how many saviors do you think they were? Tops, like fighters like and hundreds, people, but not like a couple hundred, not, not yeah. even close to a thousand. No, no, no. not I even would even a say, thousand. I would even say tops. Like after the after the satellite station, because let's just use take out those numbers 60 people went out of the <laughs> yeah, satellite they don't count yeah them. so i would say 200 tops maybe a little over for the savings yeah. give or take i agree yeah 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 the commonwealth i think in my mind i see it more connected with isabel and that whole helicopter faction yeah. when i look at this group they really do feel like western vigilantes mm-hmm. right but with a yeah. huge complex right that they yeah. that is expanding that needs power so who knows i mean and they've probably been doing this for a while too yeah. Right. I also see her more as a Simon character. <clears throat> yeah. I think whatever is going on, she's sort of the mouth of the picture. <laughs> she strikes me as a little bit of like a Simon and maybe like the odd couple, Simon and Gregory, because she knows how to talk. Like Simon yeah. knew how to give his one-liners. Like, yeah. you know, 
but she was kind of calm and collected. I noted this one thing is like she didn't even count. Like, you know how like Negan would count? And mm-hmm. Rick would count, and maybe the governor counted too. I can't remember, but like mm-hmm. she just put her hand up, yeah, and made like finger guns, a finger gun to the sky, <laughs> and we're all waiting for a count, a or waiting for her to bring her hand down. But that was I like on the second watch, I was like, oh, I could, that this is way scarier to me. Yeah, there wasn't gonna be a, that was your warning. That was it. Yeah. That's your warning. That yeah. Last warning. <laughs> Anyway, so Blazy actually said another thing that caught my eye and that was uh, that actually connected the dots for me because in a world where there's so little ammunition, it seemed as though Logan always had these guns and a ton of ammunition. And now that that kind of connection is made now. And now Mm -hmm. we know where he's been getting the ammunition from. Mm -hmm. Boom, boom, boom. That's how he's able to kind of outgun our group, too, which is interesting because she says maybe they have a huge bullet maker a la Eugene. I'm like, ah, well, yeah, of course the settlers do. (laughs) Mm -hmm. blacksmith and and, oh and thomas is saying maybe Ginny. i don't know but maybe Ginny's madison (laughs) Ginny, Ginny very well could be madison (laughs) (laughs) oh my gosh (laughs) it was me the whole time alicia (laughs) i don't know (laughs) anyway okay so what did you guys think of the nice little parallel because we open up to logan's origin story oh that was beautiful yeah sad yeah no i loved the whole you know same story different outcome and he saw that and yeah oh i loved it i loved it i'm glad he did i i I thought it was really really moving Mm -hmm. having him see this thing play out yeah Mm -hmm. all over again yeah Uh, because he has some I, i i didn't really notice his lines in the in the first um the first watch but like in the second watch I'm like I'm watching his responses to Sarah and I'm like oh shit I'm like I'm like almost in tears I'm like shit he's punching this he's like putting some punch into these lines yeah like especially near the end like not the end end the last thing he says but like right before that right before he kind of turns a corner (laughs) like I have it written down because I kind of want to I know because I'm going to reenact it but like it was just such a good way to send him off I mean it's Uh, great send him off I'm I'm, I'm upset he got Axel's ending I that was I, I didn't want to see him go that way yeah which one's axel hold on from the from the prison from the prison mid oh. sentence mid sentence yeah i referred to dr denise cloyd on that one. Oh, see i um, just said that too but that was an arrow axel got a bullet yeah exactly yeah. that's true that's true <laughs> i just thought it was kind of like similar in that like she was in the middle Jarring, of the sentence. Yeah. yeah 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 the, i yeah. guess that's yeah the third time we've seen that in this world yeah, yeah. which kind of accentuates the fact that like it, like it could happen to anyone at any time and that that's it. Yeah. Yeah. You know? yeah. And the shock factor is going to get you every time because you're never expecting it. No. They yeah. could do it every episode and I would still be shocked. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Like you said, there's like a lot of running too, which yeah. does connect us to the four beach, the five beach trailer. By the way, we were like wondering who, who, who are the people in skinny jeans? <laughs> like <running? laughs> yeah. Are they running towards? Are they running away? Oh, it's Alicia and Strand. As we, I think we guessed. By the way, that, that I think that's we did who they too. <laughs> Based it's on funny. the shape of their legs, <laughs> the shape got of their weird. Legs and got the weird. tight fit <laughs> and the tight yeah. fit of their pants. <laughs> But you knew because <laughs> a there was a there was definitely like a female cut of jeans, and then the other yeah. ones are definitely. Um, and I'm not even gonna say Strand; it's Coleman Domingo because he's like yeah. this swag king, which is awesome. <laughs> Absolutely, and that's how you could tell. So I, I want to know. So let me let me get your opinion because I, I had a thought initially. But how long do you think it took Logan to run from where he was to to the gas <laughs> shop? <laughs> Are you you know what I'm gonna say. Because it seemed that he took he was a lot quicker. Yeah, he was a lot quicker. It took it took Alicia and Strand all freaking night, really. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're right. Is, is is now a good time that this to mention that this episode was directed by Daisy Schuler Meyer? <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but I did. I also had a theory. I mean, we don't know what time of day it was, right? I mean, maybe Logan started running in the morning and he had the the full daylight. I mean, there there there's ways around it, but that was just my yeah. my notice, my observation. <laughs> That's my observation. I'm sticking to it. <laughs> No, but I, I was on the same page as you. I was like, yeah. oh, it's taking a while. It's <laughs> to the point where night, where day turned into night. That's yeah, how it, like, And then yeah. night went to day. It was daytime by the time they reached there again. <laughs> Uh well, it was that's when they were about to leave the shop. No, no, no. When they right. walked through the door, when 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 Alicia and Strand walked through the door, the girl says, "Alicia," 
And she's like, yeah, oh, right, like right. that was them coming in. And it was daylight out again. God, we're almost there. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, <my God>. False <laughs> hope. <laughs> Oh my god! I, I was I was especially happy about Wes too. Wes or, oh, or yeah. what was uh, Derek? <laughs> yeah, Wes, la- uh, sorry, Wes and air Derek. quotes. Derek. Yeah, Wes. So I, I have to ask. I have to pause right here and ask. Do you still? Th- I'm like starting to weaken on my position on this, but I stand firm on the on the premise that like I think it's a good one. Like taking your brother's name, but like, do you think differently now that you've seen this episode? That if it's a good move or whether or not he uh, did it. Well, whether or not he he's still not Wes. I, I think it's. A still entirely possible i think your theory is entirely possible absolutely mm, okay okay I, I and if anything it might even like kind of drive it more because he did the right thing right you know and if he hear- took yeah if he took his brother's name to do good with it now he is it's, it's like what's the point yeah right do you think they'll like do you think they'll drag it <laughs> like i guess do you think they'll drag it out <laughs> like he won't reveal it to like oh it's the season finale <laughs> I mean, if they do, sure, it's going to be like, a bo- you know, just a bomb dropped at some point. Mm-hmm. And then he'll get shot through the head. <laughs> <laughs> with, an, with an arrow that has a yeah. bullet at the end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, so Blaze is saying, does no building in this universe have a back door? And they did note at the beginning of the episode that it had a front and a back door. Um, and, and with Logan's girl, who, uh, what was her name? Uh, Cynthia? Serena. Oh, Serena. Serena. Thank Serena. You. She had walkers at both ends. We don't know mm-hmm. if, by the way, we don't know this girl's name. I did not hear it in this no, episode. No, we didn't catch her name. Yeah. She said, it does it matter or something like that when they asked? The first time, right? On the radio? Yeah. 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 It's like, I, I can't, it's not safe for me is what she said. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. yeah. I knew there was a reason. And and now you know why. Right. Yeah. Do you know She's why? with girl Kobe. Yeah. She's, she, was, she, she was, was with, girl with Kobe. Yeah. I yeah. love that she, she was all like girl Kobe. Kobe. <laughs> 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 which by the way which mo collins calls her ms colby i'm sure she ms. calls <laughs> she calls uh uh colby home and uh like mr mr colby, colby. Yeah. yeah which mr. i think is colby, yeah. way more dignified <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Girl Kobe, guy Kobe. Girl Kobe. <laughs> I, w- I was shouting it as they were riding over the edge. I'm like, Girl Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I heard you in my head. I, Probably, I, yes. <laughs> okay, so they're going down the ridge. I'm like, Oh, yeah, it's Girl Kobe. Ah, oh, shit. She got me again. <laughs> <laughs> now I got you saying it. <laughs> oh, which, by the way, I, in, I blazy saying this too, like, everybody called. <laughs> Which just everybody calls everybody calls Colby Holman um, Uncle Colby because of that video Uncle, he posted of yeah. his niece, oh, they, like pointing at the screen when he did yeah. the Instagram takeover. That's like the one bit of content that he showed until <laughs> like it failed out on him and he couldn't post any more things. Yeah, yeah, like he, it showed a, a video of, of his niece watching him on the screen, and she goes Uncle Colby. She's like pointing out the screen, but like Blazy saying, yeah, just call him Uncle Colby and Aunt Colby. Yeah, mm-hmm. Uncle Colby, Aunt Colby. Yeah, too many fl- syllables. <laughs> See what he's <saying>? obviously. <laughs> By the way, they were kind of flirting online too, which is really funny. The Colbys? Yeah. Oh, Can you imagine? Ooh. Ooh. Colby and Colby scandal in a tree. Wouldn't be the first couple I've heard of that had the same name. Hmm. Oh my god, really? Ooh. Yeah. I, I mean, Chris. Chris and Chris? Chris and Chris. But like that's yeah. like Christina, right? Yeah, but they both go by Chris. <laughs> But Colby and Colby. Yeah. Is Colby short for something? I don't Sound. think so. Colbelina? No. <laughs> it'd be it'd be, be Colburn Pincher. <laughs> Colby son. No, I don't it's, think so. It's yeah, I don't know. It's col- Colburing time. <laughs> I'm sorry. So close. I, I was so reaching close. a little a little too much. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, <laughs> I, really, I really do apologize. Um, yeah, so Rabbi actually, for the win for the save. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Oh yeah, Rabbi Annie, whom yeah. you hated. By the <laughs> way, we have to stop this podcast right now because I need to mention something very interesting that happened over the weekend. Oh boy, because it it. <laughs> Shoot. It's all related. It is all related. Um, the clip of the week that we released last week uh, <laughs> aroused the ire oh. of more than one person. And one of those people was the, the hair designer for, for Fear the Walking Dead. And, um, and I got into, like, I, no, I didn't get into a thing, but, like, I had to, like, explain because it was the kill the kids. 
Oh. It was the. It was actually literally called, the, and that's the reason why there was. All right, Kill nobody. The, clip. Oh, the people man. that commented on it did not listen to the clip. They saw the clip title, which oh, was geez. "We need kids, comma, but kill the stupid ones." <laughs> it was the entire <laughs> premise of the clip, but like you know, there's context missing because Chris was going on a rant about like kids. Uh, actually, wrote his quote in the description notes. He's like, "Kids are a bunch of useless nothing" or something like that. <laughs> like it was like this weird like yeah. old man New Yorker. That, kind of way of saying it they're a bunch of useless nothing and like i literally had to write this is gold i'm writing this down and like but that's the context is like and then you were trying to say until like you thwarted yourselves like you were trying to say we need kids yeah I'm like fuck you chris and he's right there <laughs> and he's like saying yes kill them all <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> but then like you kind of thwarted yourself and you said you said we need yeah of course we need kids but you know kill the stupid ones i'm like holy shit this is turning into a thing and then meg just piled on i'm like sitting there in horror at the things both of these ladies these ladies you'd think it would be me because i'm like mr idiot factor but these back and forth like oh Arya's gonna get bit <laughs> and oh, who does who does uh who does uh was it uh cooper dotson who's uh yeah. what's his name dylan who does dylan have oh it's annie's te- gonna teach him how to survive <laughs> he's dead <laughs> like, and then we're talking about eating kids <laughs> so like oh he's cute and yeah. cut into him right there Anyway, another user pointed this out like, oh, guys, this is a step too far. And I'm like, I literally it had might to go. Have been. I didn't go in an apology to us. I didn't apologize for it. But I was like, guys, there's a bigger context to the episode. And I know that that's kind of our fault in a way because, you know. <laughs> I mean, because this is what we chose that we cut to put on the clip. But like at the same time, like if you listen to the show, we go from like really, really, really serious like analysis and beautiful kind of explaining certain pros and making connections. And then we kind of kind of go a little crazy. We kind of go a little nuts. Like, you know, we'll go what if scenarios. Yeah. <laughs> and like, ah, what if well, what if Annie just shot herself in the head? She couldn't take it anymore. That's going to be in the clip now. And that's what <laughs> mad at. Uproar again. <laughs> what was the so now I'm trying to go backwards. Maybe Carol, you can help me out here because you're usually the one that now that gets us back on track. But what was it that Rachel just said that made me go on this rant? Because I can't remember something now. about Annie. You yeah. wanted you wanted to bring up Annie. Annie's what triggered you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> because it was that <laughs> one thing, man. The rabbi for the save, then Annie. I'm like, and then I had to stop the show because yeah, you called her like useless. You called her like she's gonna survive. <laughs> By the way, the, these are the same kids that were stringing walkers and gut. I thought that was like yeah. ballsy, man. Like it was, the robots. It was good. Big risk, though. Still a yeah. big risk. So and we saw what happened when things didn't always go to plan. So yeah, yeah. Odd how that happened then, too. By the way, right when there was yeah. somebody there to save them. It's like it was written that way or something. <laughs> <laughs> Blaze is like kids aren't stringy like adults <laughs> they're going on in the chat i am not going to say any of that i'm not getting in trouble no. again <laughs> no it's there are gonna... there are some good kids i'm i'm just saying i mean yeah, I'm, they're one, not all bad the only some one everybody was like oh judith's not gonna get bit and then i <laughs> the one this here's the punchline the one thing i said i said like, what if she gets what if she gets punched or bit? <laughs> and meg's like now you're fucked up and i'm like i'm fucked up <laughs> right that was the line that was the, <laughs> that was the line <laughs> Oh, don't you touch the Judith. You wanted RJ to get big. <laughs> I don't she care. She did say that, didn't she? Oh, <laughs> Where's she did Meg say right that. now? <gasps> Meg. <laughs> Finger wag. No. Anyway. RJ's going to be a badass too. Yeah. So I had to kind of, I don't know why that, tr- but that's the essence of what you just did. When you mentioned Andy, I like, you just yeah. triggered me because <laughs> of that trauma well, she, over the weekend. Yeah. Like literally she did Meg, the right thing. Meg like <laughs> texted me and she said, dude, don't look now, but somebody from the show just commented and called you a child bullier. <laughs> Oh my god! Hashtag child bullying. That's what she put on there. And uh, now characters. <laughs> now for all all the people who really want child bullying, they're gonna oh see my our goodness. clip and they're gonna like it. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, I don't know if I want those people liking us. <laughs> not child hey, bullying. This show does not judge. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you like what you like, right? Yeah. Judge not lest you be, you be judged, right? Right. Yeah, those in glass houses, uh, Meg. <laughs> One day your, your child's going to get bit in the, in the sandbox, and you'll know why that happened. <laughs> oh like, I believe in that shit. I, I don't... I, you, by the way, at me if you believe in karma, because I don't. Karma is just a bunch of nonsense. Just I only nonsense. believe in karma when it comes through for me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<sighs> I'm sorry. This is my fault. I, I had the childhood childhood trauma. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Ironic. Um, yes. So Rabbi Tess, Rabbi Annie for the save uh, with mm-hmm. John and June uh, on the on the ridge, right? On the ridge line. Yep. Yep. It's cool to see them again, though, too. Like mm-hmm. they're the same way I felt about Tess when we when you saw her come. Hey, guys, I saw a ranch back there after the mall, the mall episode. <laughs> Right? Do you remember? You remember that? No, I don't remember Tess saying that. So at the end of the mall episode, Tess kind of comes out of the back and like after the Cinnabon thing with Daniel, uh-huh. and she uh-huh. kind of comes back. So hey, I got I saw a ranch back there. You know, we should try to stay over there. Oh, and like I'm like, what is she up. doing here? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so like same with that. You see the rabbi here, no, and Tess, and these are all people we tried to help. You know, here's mm-hmm. the thirty six uh, Nistarim, as we we're saying last week. Um, so I thought that was cool too. Are you sad to that uh, Logan died? I was gonna say Matt for that Logan died. Yes. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm I'm really bummed that we're not gonna get this character anymore. I mean, my prediction was kind of true. Like the, at the last episode, I I feel like I said this. Like I like the this. I feel like Logan is gonna be the one asking for help by the time. I don't know by the time. This is over, but like by the time, like he's going to be one of those people. Like this has all been leading up to us helping out, helping Logan. him, mm-hmm. and we're kind of right. And I mean, no, we were right because Sarah does yeah. help him figure this out, like figure mm-hmm. out what went wrong, what what was the thing that he had to make up for, or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. By the end of it, but what about you? Because I'm curious now. Like, wh- what did you feel about Logan by the end of it? Me? Both of you. Are. Yeah, yeah. I'm. I really liked Logan. I mean, I mean, I, I never really disliked him. I mean, I right. only because it's Matt Frewer, right? Like, I, I just couldn't be on board with completely hating him. Because I'm like, I, even if he's a bad guy, like I feel like he's a sarcastic bad guy. Like he's not really bad, and that's kind of how it ended up being. But yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm definitely gonna miss. I'm gonna miss the character for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. miss Matt Frewer too. But mm-hmm. What do you think? So I, I care. Because like, I know you had mixed feelings about um, Logan as a character. I'm always but- suspicious of fear villains. <laughs> yeah, they might not turn out the way we want them to. <laughs> like, I'm always weary. I'm like, hmm. But did you like the way this one kind of... Because we thought he was going to be like another Martha. At I, yeah, that was terrifying me. And so... Oh, I was, you as a person. <laughs> yes. I was very concerned. I was like, please, let's not go down that trope. And they didn't. And so then he was... I like that they... It is a shame because it's like they were giving him some depth in this episode and it's like you see this backstory and then you see like, okay, we're at the end, we're coming to this place and it's like, nope, that's it. So I was like, oh man, that sucks, you know? (laughs) Yeah, right when we came to this kind of resolution. I think that his right. whole thing, though, was kind of a thing for us, though, because, I mean, in a way, because his his whole telling of the story kind of really brings the group or brings Sarah's evolution full. Because it seems oh, like every... Oh, my gosh. What? That, yeah, every yeah, that was a bomb. Give, yeah, it gives, it gives, like, every every episode seems to give each one of our group a little bit closer to their own resolution. Mm-hmm. And Sarah got hers in a big way. Oh, right? my gosh. Mo yeah. Collins was amazing this episode. Oh, my gosh. She was, oh my gosh, she was amazing. Remember yeah. like last season, like we were kind of like, oh, she's comic relief. That's all she's going to yeah. for. Yeah. Like I'm thinking of Carol, like when, I mean, when he, she got on the first time, you didn't really care for her at first. <laughs> yeah, I was just sort of like, okay, comic relief. <clears throat> uh-huh. You know, uh, like I get it. Mm-hmm. But no, like they, they've done a good job with her character for sure. In terms oh. of like making her like have like different facets. Like she's still her and yeah. she still has like her personality and her like wit but there's more to her than that and i appreciate that like i do like that and this is a really good episode for her for her character yeah specifically for her because i i actually went back to and it was the mid-season finale um that little confrontation between trucks and i remember at the time uh logan and she were meeting in person and i remember like they're wearing the reverse colors like he was wearing blue she's wearing red Mm -hmm. and Uh they're like hey listen i just need lights for the runway if you guys can line up in a thing then my guys can land it's like we don't operate that way and i and i the reason why i went back to it is because the thing that she said in this episode kind of sounded similar i actually thought that she thought she didn't regret what she did to clayton because here's the thing she never really says out loud that i killed clayton she never Mm -hmm. says it she says like i have to make up for it like i regret it but like she never fully said i killed clayton right And then you hear her say in this episode, but I want to kind of lay out the quote that she said in that episode. And she said, um, yeah, so she says, see that rig? 
belonged to your partner Clayton. This is in that episode, the mid-season finale. Um, my brother and I, we stole it. He was out there in the world just trying to help people with it, and we took it anyway because that's how we operated. And that, like he's saying, that that's not how we operate with the rigs and lining up. Um, and uh, never met the man. Not a day goes by I don't regret what we did. Every time we drive it, read what he wrote. That shit gnaws at you, Logan. You walk away from this helping people who really need it. You'll spend what's left of your miserable, miserable life trying to make up for it. Believe you me, you owe it to us and him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I, the reason, like, I had to stop my notes to get that quote because of that really, like, just, and Blaze is the one who sent me the quote, um, or not, sent me the clip of um, <clears throat> basically that scene where Sarah pops out of the thing and then is pointing the gun at Raleigh and she shoots the gun past his ear. She's like, I've done a lot of bad shit I got to live with, but one thing I can't abide with is I killed Polar Bear for nothing. You, you I can live with. Oh, that like, look I at my, like that. that gave me chills. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. There. That's please. Oh, That's gosh. you right there. And this is before I saw the episode. And I'm like, I did not care that I saw that scene. I, <laughs> I have legit goosebumps right now from that yeah. line. I'm like trying to warm myself up. Now. <laughs> just the way she delivered it too. I mean, she really, it was so impactful. Just her intensity and the way she delivered was just gave me chills. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. she had all the really like, she had all the, she had like all this, these really good serious lines, but she also had like some good, one-liners too and yeah like some fellows do anything to avoid asking for directions lucky for yeah. you we knew the way <laughs> it was a good episode for her yeah, yeah. It's like I, a, I got a little worried when she went back into the smoke that yeah. that was going to be the end of sarah right. be- because so it was so much about her too yeah. that's you know that's how they get you mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's how the walking dead gets you <laughs> yeah oh yeah but yeah that's fall in love with the character and then they shoot him in the head while they're talking <laughs> there were a couple people like i mean even the girl that they were trying to save i i genuinely thought his was going to repeat themselves because they really played too. up the scene like as if everybody was going to hear everybody was going to yep. hear this this who we don't know this girl die mm-hmm. yeah that's what I thought I was like oh she's going to kill herself and everyone did you think that too Rachel I did yeah yep yeah. Yeah. that's interesting I think because we're all geared to, to the walking dead we're all attuned to that they should use that more by the way yeah <laughs> I think the although one- I mean they, they did exactly what we didn't expect though so that's that's great mm-hmm. uh, good job <laughs> good on them yep. and they pa- well they painted it in such a way that they were really literally about to hear somebody die like go crunch crunch mm-hmm. crunch, crunch 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 like the other lady oh. like Serena right right yeah um it, it that kind of worked out like I'm surprised that that worked out because you can take a gamble on that and, and not paint it well enough that's Daisy Schuler Meyer right there that's act that's yeah. directing right there um but uh great no, job yeah that's really good yeah I mean I thought a whole bunch of people were gonna die in this episode to be honest yeah like, yeah um oh like I mean like Luciana like almost yeah yeah between Lo Logan and Jenny and like sticking her neck out. The, um, what the internet is calling her Jesse Pinkman moment. I, if it bears mentioning it, like if you watch Bre- Be- Breaking Bad, Jesse offers to cook to kind of get the heat off of everybody else, like so that nobody else dies. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's what they're calling Luciana. Like now, this may not change your opinion about Luciana and her role in the in the in the show because we the things that we've been saying about her in the last you know what thirteen episodes, <laughs> like. Oh, she doesn't really have a, she just seems to get hurt and there's not really much for her to do this is, now I'm not expecting expecting what she did in this episode to kind of change your mind about her but is it on its way what do you what do you think about it I, I'm gonna say Carol what, what do you think hmm. I'm not sure with Luciana like I I mean I've I've been thinking for a while like okay what what is her purpose what is her role I'm not sure yet when it comes to Luciana so even with this cooking thing like have your feelings changed about her in any way I mean, it gives her a purpose, definitely. So perhaps, I mean, it's kind of like Eugene and the bullet making. <laughs> That's a Aww. good way of looking at it, right? You don't know, know. where she's, where, what she's going to do next now, at this point. Well, because yeah. of the Eugene yeah. experience, right? Yeah. 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 Well, what about you, Rachel? Like, because um, yeah, you were I'm, the most critical, I think, right? I am. Yeah. I mean, I, it's not that I don't like Luciana. I, I do like the character. I was more upset that she, that they weren't, that she wasn't doing anything. Like give this poor girl something to do, you know? <laughs> um, and, uh, and so I am glad that they have. And I do think we're going to see her in action now. Like, I think she'll, you know, cook for them, but also maybe figure out a way to, I don't know, get out of it or, or I don't want to say sabotage because if they're using it for something good, she wouldn't do that. But I don't know. She, I think she'll find a way to get more information and then somehow get it out and share that information. Recon. Yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Like, like the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't think they're going to leave a big conting- contingent behind to kind of guard her though. 
unless they do and that leaves them vulnerable mm. right of mm. the of the settlers yeah the settlers like, like watching if, her yeah if they pour more resources into watching her then that leaves mm-hmm. their stronghold vulnerable even though it's like it could be any number of people like true yeah, right? we don't really know their official numbers yeah right. true so I in the Dark 2 said something really interesting and I don't know if she was being serious or not but she said Logan dying that way proves that he was right after all she gave it the side eye and like what do you think about that though like does that make does logan dying the way he did and all his men too by the way yeah they all did does about make, helping people yeah this is what like no good is going to come from it that sort of thing i mean i don't know I think I kind of took the exact opposite away. Not, I mean, okay, I definitely see that. I mean, it's like, you know, broken glass. Now you see it. But I also think because he had that revelation right at, at the end, like yeah. it was, it, he, he saw that it was worth it. And yeah. and yeah, so I don't know. That's really what, tough. What do you personally <laughs> believe? I mean, I, I, think that, I think the personal is probably what, what makes more sense in this scenario because it's like, I, I, ooh, that is, sorry, that is tough. <laughs> It, it's right? Dilemma. It's a dilemma. I always opt for helping people, though. I mean, that's yeah. maybe just my nature. Actually, yeah. Yeah. It, it does hit kind of home, actually, because I, I hadn't thought about it until just now. But, like, <laughs> I did something for a friend recently that I actually really, I don't regret doing, obviously, but just the way I did it. So mm-hmm. a friend of mine had a troll on her back and who was saying some really nasty shit in public. Mm-hmm. And I, I, I did what I do on the show, thinking <laughs> I'm like, you know, oh, I know how to talk to people. I know how to <laughs> rationalize with people and actually what's weird is like most of the time it works like i'll have these like rational discussions and i'll get people to agree on certain things you know get people in a spot where we can agree and talk about things fluidly and we'll disagree on some things agree on others maybe tactics change Mm -hmm. i i I do that with a lot of the fear the walking dead haters by the way i'm like well what about this what about that like and then to get them to stop being so nasty sometimes but like Mm -hmm. um in this scenario like i sat this person down and like i was trying to basically figure out like you know why would you say such things like um you know is there something that she did to you or whatever it was and it, it devolved into this thing where i tried to kind of throw this dude off the scent or try to get his brain to kind of freeze a little bit like about what he was doing like i was trying to throw any logical fallacy mm-hmm. like i was actually trying to lie about mm-hmm. my friend and like to kind of throw him off the scent like well this happened here and that happened there and this couldn't have happened because and you're not a right right about that because it couldn't be that because this was that and she is this kind of person and blah 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 so i was just saying things to kind of throw this guy off the scent Mm -hmm. and what this motherfucker did and i'll say that on air is like literally took everything i had said and sent it to my friend to make her think that i thought this that i was talking shit like like i was basically serious yeah like wow so such a like desperate like conceited jealous person who thinks he's virtuous like who thinks he's virtuous because he's trying to expose her you know that kind of person like like the person that will does not care about the collateral damage doesn't even care about the cause like if you care about the cause you're trying to like be virtuous about Mm -hmm. you would go about it in a way that doesn't damage that cause right that's the thing like most of these people that i encounter these trolls like they they die on this hill you know going to the mat saying the nastiest shit ever like airing private stuff out in public because this happened to this person for sure not didn't happen and you know what? I'm going to expose you. But literally, literally, the person that that person that you're trying to protect, you are going to blow their shit up. And you know what? They don't want their shit blown up, dude. So yeah. quit it. So we're good now. But like when she got it, she was really confused because I was saying some things about the kind of person she is that she clearly isn't. But I was trying to say <laughs> them to throw the scent off. And yeah, yes. it really caused like a rift between us because like I, you know, like everything you said is like like not what I thought you said. And, and it's mm-hmm. just like, you know, I, I apologize, you know, mm. like I will go to the mat for a friend sometimes. This just made me so angry that I had to go to the mat. So it's kind of like, yeah. I guess that's the answer that I have for you about Logan and, <laughs> and helping people. <laughs> So I just can't help myself. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. But I will try to do better. I'll try not to go that far out of bounds again. <laughs> Thank you very much, Bill Cosper. Well, anyway. Um, yeah. So what's great about this episode is is exactly what we said at the, at the beginning was like, we got, I would you agree that we got kind of like the action packed, impactful word, impactfully worded yes. episode that we've been waiting for? Yep. Yeah. 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 Definitely a fair amount of action. Yeah. I'm glad. I'm kind of glad. 
I'm glad that like see and like I'm sure there's something people out there are gonna say that that just are gonna shit on this episode still. So, um, but I did want to say. I didn't want to say what this one scene like really it's like the one scene right before um yeah 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 right before Logan is like inhaling smoke and he's about to he has to get to the office to kind of Sarah drag him to the office and stuff like that he has this one scene and, and like it took the second watch for me to kind of like really get it into my head but um so Sarah has to go to save, save Logan. Now, the one funny thing about that is when, they, when she's dragging him into the office, every season in every show where there's a scream, and you guys maybe have heard this. Have you ever heard of a thing called the Wilhelm scream? No, yeah, what's that? Okay. Mm-hmm. Almost every single movie uh, and every single television show at one point, or I think every season, and I think The Walking Dead has a Wilhelm, Wilhelm, Wilhelm scream in every season, but you'll hear like normal screaming like, ah, whatever. And then there's that classic um, and I don't know. I don't know if you've heard. And I wish I had a soundboard right now. <laughs> Actually, you know what? Maybe if you guys can bear with me, uh, I need to play this specific scream because <laughs> it's a a. It's so funny and classic. <laughs> uh-huh. But B, it's a particular sounding scream that has been around since like film, like sound and film. So, <laughs> and you heard this sound just as Sarah's dragging Logan to the office. Um, let's see if I can do it. Oh, okay. Here's a compilation because it's in every single movie. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna turn this up can you hear it yeah uh-huh. you hear that scream uh-huh. that one that one uh-huh. <laughs> i wish you could see I, I we could have done the screen share thing but like it's that ah that like yeah. that guy yeah. It's like in the in the old westerns, like in Blazing Saddles, it was probably the most classic one. The the guy gets shot, he goes, ah <laughs> Anyway, yeah. you hear it in that episode. And once you hear it, you cannot unhear it. Every single movie you watch, you'll be looking out for it now. <laughs> so funny. And anyway, so that's the funny part. But the but the but the confrontation that they have is like, um, no, actually, this is just beforehand. He says, um, yeah. So he goes like he's trying to save himself, and he 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 goes like, so you really want to help? You really want to make a difference? And like you see him, mm-hmm. like the, it flashes the pictures of him running, and then you Alicia. see Alicia. And, uh, oh. Grand running and he, yes. it's like all like emotionally swirling in this yeah. one moment. He goes, walk away because you've already yeah. done your part, sweetheart. Oh and nothing you or any other people, any of you people do is going to make up for that. Yeah. It's like basically like you did your part. Yeah. I am here because you killed Clayton. Like this whole mess could have been avoided if you would have just mm-hmm. not robbed Clayton. Yeah. I wouldn't be in this contract. I wouldn't be hassling you fo- folks. You know, mm-hmm. that was, it was a really, I, I encourage all of you to see that scene again because it's just this like between the images and the way he phrases it i like looked at it and i'm like i i did this like double take and yeah. i just went i just started like almost blubbering i'm like oh shit like that was really yeah. rough and sarah's oh, yeah. just ca- like it kicked in the chest i ca- yeah i commented during that's when they're cutting back and forth and i'm like oh man oh man this is really intense like yeah. you could feel like yeah he was getting emotional and they're running towards her and i think that was another moment where i'm like oh man this is gonna end just the same too you know he's yeah. gonna be right about it and uh, oh that, that was, was my sucked. feeling like, yeah. like almost like martha like like yeah. this is what happens when you help you help you uh, it makes you weak you're weak yeah oh, so there are like echoes of that too like like not in the, like i want to help but not in the way you're thinking like you're small potatoes this is small scale shit I, i'm really interested to to know what the criteria is for you know essential i mean and they have a ruthless way of survive like the, what does that mean like you have so many people but you're willing to kill so many more yeah yeah yeah. that that's what really confused me because like if if someone were to say and they have been saying that these are the saviors negan wouldn't abide that like every person is a resource absolutely who's essential and who's not essential so that's one a big argument against comparing them to the saviors i think Mm -hmm. i think they think they have the shit in the bag and that's why they don't have to care about people yeah Mm -hmm. like they have enough people already Mm -hmm. but i don't know are you Mm -hmm. threatened by jenny in in a way though not quite yet Mm -hmm. um that's a fair answer because I'm mostly kind of like I didn't expect. By the way, this is a good question for Rachel. Did you expect Girl Colby to be that? No, I no. From the previews that we saw and everything, uh, no, I didn't expect her to. I did not expect this character to be her. Mm-mm. Talk about people that because she's. I think she's a comedian too, but like <clears throat> just like Mo Collins. Talk about <laughs> people that like play parts that are completely different than what as you may or may not know them as. You know, like. Mm-hmm. 
she'll play like meaningful parts and then like she'll play like she's she's a comedian so like um, you wouldn't expect her to be like i mean i don't know how many how many comedians like play like like threatening people i, don't know, I know one threatening person, people no not comedians though that was iggy pop <laughs> Oh man, I yeah, got me wrecking my brain. I'm thinking like Iggy Pop in The Crow 2, City of Angels. He uh, played a bad that, guy. Oh man, the first thing that popped in my head was uh, Ryan Reynolds in Amityville Horror. He's normally in comedic roles. That's fair. That's actually fair. But he's an actor. Right? He's not a comedian though. Right, yeah, you're right. right, right. I, don't, he didn't, he, I, I don't believe he did stand up or anything like that, but mm. he's normally comedic. Just mm. diversity, man. That's what makes a great actor. You know, when you can do yeah. that, when you can be funny and serious and pull yep. the audience in no matter what. I mean that, yeah, I had no idea that Mo Collins, that I had no idea. I am so blown away. That's yeah. called range. Yes. Well, girl, girl Colby yeah. is an actor too, by the way. I'm going to call her that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> girl Colby, yeah. I can't fight it. Yeah. She's <laughs> she was actually too. in some stuff. Um, sh- uh, she was on uh, Jessica Jones. She played the, oh. the neighbor. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Holy crap. Yeah. I can't think of anybody like Tim, Tim Curry. Tim Curry is an actor, right? He's like another. Correct. Yeah. Correct. I mean, mm, well, there's the anti-hero character. This is the old, the closest I'll be able to get is House, because Hugh Laurie is like this genuine comedian, sat- is satirist comedian. Yeah, he's English too. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know he was a comedian. And he, uh, yeah, he had it's, he had that classic show on BB. Well, I guess it was BBC, but it's a uh, Fry and Laurie. So Stephen Fry and, and and sorry, Hugh Laurie. They had a oh. comedy uh, variety show basically. Okay, like all I had these no different idea. skits. Yeah, and then when he came to house, he's kind of like this grumpy, like you know, cynical, like yeah. shooting one-liners back at people. T- I loved him as go house. Themselves. <laughs> but like, yeah, Very that's much. the closest I've ever gotten to like a kind of like a bad guy, anti-hero yeah. person. Yeah. Anyway, okay, moving along from that, but um, <laughs> yeah, and then like my notes right after they're like, oh, Waka's is so gnarly. It's a rain and guts, hallelujah. <laughs> oh. That was there's like some scenes where Dwight is like, you know, often <laughs> like running through this minefield of this like. <laughs> tornado of guts <laughs> it's just he literally has this like look on his face when one of them splashes down it almost gives him a little bit of splashback yeah like the look on his face is so like it's like it looks real that was awesome yeah i i very much enjoyed the gore Oh, by the way, Walani's saying uh, Jim Carrey as Cable Guy. Ah, uh, true. Oh. That is true. <laughs> and maybe yeah. too, because he was kind of like an anti- Oh, um, yeah. 23, number 23. Is that is that what it's called? 23 or number 23? Something That's a, that's another good Jim Carrey one where he is not your typical Jim Carrey. He's playing Dr. Robotnik in the Sonic movie too. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I still haven't seen the preview, too. I think I must have skipped it, too. I'm like a month behind on my YouTube videos. Um, I have like 423 to watch. Never going to make it. Never going to make it. But it seems like Jim Carrey is the expert at being a bad guy, <laughs> being a comedian. He is, yeah. Yeah. I think, all of his, I think all of his roles are almost kind of like Liar Liar. Um, uh, so liar Dumb Liar. Dumb and Dumber. Ace Ventura. Also, Ace Ventura is like the best example. Like, talk about like just despicable hero. Like, in ta- mm-hmm. sorry, um, pro protagonist mm-hmm. Truman every show. single roles <laughs> Truman Show was the one that I was kind of in his corner though like, yeah you were true like protagonist oh, that was <laughs> it makes me wonder yes. what roles he was oh well, then there's um did you ever oh, see Eternal Sunshine that's yes. the one I was thinking of Eternal Sunshine and the Spotless Mind yeah. that's, that's like another one where movies. like yeah so like the Truman Show and Eternal Sunshine and that's it all his other ones are like obnoxious despicable protagonists yeah have you have you not seen the, the tw- number 23 I, or is it just tw- i gotta look i gotta look that up. you gotta look it up it's an amazing it's ugh. yeah i'm gonna find it i do want to uh, just one thing you keep looking but like um yeah. dwight has this moment also like in this episode and i thought it could have been like drawn out a little bit more but like as they're they're like look everything's on fire walkers are coming blah blah, blah. and dwight says like um we need the gas and the wendell's fighting with him is like we need to be alive to be right. to do what we're doing yeah. and i thought right. that was very interesting it does say a lot about his character because there's something in that in that like he needs to keep helping people because then he, yeah he doesn't have anything to hold on to to tether him yeah i yeah. think it is called the number 23 the movie is Mm. and he uh yeah it's a thriller drama and he's kind of a little out of it and he keeps seeing the number 23 and everything and it starts driving him insane and Uh it's good (laughs) and he becomes kind of like a bad guy kind of yeah it, I don't want right? to give. I don't want to give. I don't want to give too much away because it's the the story is kind of twisted and overlapped and 
So Stacy <laughs> Odom actually mentioned Robin Williams in 24. And I know the movie she's just talking about, 24 out of 24 hour photo, because my sister yes. and I, like, I remember that one. We're rabid yeah. like Robin Williams fans. Yeah. Um, but uh, he came to mind too, and I couldn't think of the name of the movie, but yes, that's it. Yeah. You know what sucks about that movie is that, like, even like you're like, oh my God, this guy's gross. And then, like, near the end, you start to feel sorry for him too. Yeah. He's genuinely, I, well, uh, he's not really that gross. He's most of the time he's imagining himself in these situations like and they're kind of like they're like creepy they're creepy <laughs> and then he starts to cross the line blah 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 but then like yeah. and then you realize he's come from like this broken path and he's just this pitiful man yeah but like so even that's kind of like mm, iffy mm -hmm. you know but anyway sorry it's just a really good exercise because like it doesn't occur to you that, like a comedian could play like a bad guy or like an antagonist or something mm -hmm. um i love it when they do though yeah john so travolta and uh and uh, nick cage do that a lot too Mm, yeah. Kind of flip back and forth, good guy, bad guy. Mm -hmm. Face Off is still one of my favorite movies. Oh my! I have to ask because, like, and we, ha I think we had a conversation about this. I'm not sure, but like, um, because we recently, I, the wife and I recently saw um, Four Weddings and a Funeral because the new show is out that Mindy Kaling produced. Mm -hmm. Um, based on, I don't know if it's based on, but whatever. But like, I watched it and it just does not hold up. It's just, a, Ooh. I think mm -hmm. Four. It's just such a bad movie. But then, like, <laughs> now I'm wondering, does Face Off hold up? Because I, I just recently saw an essay that tore it the fuck down what the yeah. did they make a show or are you talking about the movie no 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 the movie the movie like, was in a, phenomenal in a way like there's some like logic holes you know what i mean oh don't just don't don't think too hard just enjoy it just enjoy it like how does the wife not know that it's not his penis like do you know what i mean like simple things like that <laughs> mm. yeah i mean you have don't to think about it too hard yeah i'm not i i, don't, I barely remember <laughs> the movie that's the thing like but yeah. like i i remember seeing four weddings and a funeral but then like i rewatch and i'm like oh this is so bad this is so bad this is just a bad movie how did i like this movie like, i'm never gonna say that to the goonies because there's too much of an emotional connection oh yeah because there yeah. are things and i don't want to say them but like there are things but this again is just, just don't think bad. too hard it's just yeah. bad some movies you just got to take it at fa face value yeah. and enjoy it for what it is yeah hopefully because yeah. later on you won't yeah, <laughs> yeah. No. just don't think too hard <laughs> oh and and, and blazy's saying no fuck face off <laughs> Like, wow, oh okay. ouch go for the throat <laughs> dang all right don't dang. like good movies that's cool <laughs> knives out <laughs> i like that dwight's asshole was out of the yes. picture set like do you think we'll see him again do you think we'll see raleigh i'm he's still alive isn't he it would be a great idea if they they kept him around to see if he because you really were like you really wanted him <laughs> to kind of turn around i Rachel. do i still want him to hmm. I'm, I'm not so convinced anymore though <laughs> <laughs> No. Not a, not after what we just saw. No. Uh, yeah, not after that whole thing. <sighs> I kind of wanted Mo to shoot him, to be honest. When she uh, said that, when she delivered that line, like I was waiting for the pop, like, I, yeah, and I'm like, just do it, do it. Yeah. <laughs> Blazy's like, where did they leave Dwight's asshole? Exactly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Dwight's asshole? Well, and he sharing? had what, two or three other guys with him, or two, two guy, two other guys. Two, two uh, other one girl and two guys, I think, or something. Oh, okay. or one makes her half okay. of the other. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, but I love using that that name, Dwight's asshole, because I'm like, where did you leave Dwight's asshole? And yeah, right where you left it. Because <laughs> I wonder now, like, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I mean, he's he's technically the only one of Logan. Well, him and the other people, the mystery people, are the only ones yeah. of Logan's group alive. Well, that's why I was asking him. Like, yeah. well, this could be. I'm like so upset because like I just followed um, the woman who plays Doris, by the way. Oh. Who's like posts really good? I like there's photos of Peggy and Peggy Shot who plays Tess uh, and her and I just don't remember her name now. Uh -huh. But but yeah, with them together and it was just so cute. And then now they're gonna try to start to work on a project together. It's so cool watching these people like have these like relationships and stuff like that. It's really really cool. Mm -hmm. um, and now like she's gone from the show. That's it sucks. Um, but yeah, I'll I'll put them in the description right you know there uh, later. Um, I think we should, we should just go go to sneak peeks. Like uh, guys, if we didn't cover anything, just go to the comments section and just blow our asses up because <laughs> I, the reason why I mentioned this um, 
the thing at the top about like how we're going to change the way we go live is because we want to push out shorter episodes that just really kind of work between me and the hosts. And what we can do afterwards is do another show later on in the week where we can cover all of your questions, like all the things that you had on your mind. And we can just go back and forth on those concepts. Because really, I, I mean, really, your comments are really clearly really, really good. You know, they're clearly essential. Yeah. And they really kind of like some of you guys are on fire, like I in the dark too. <laughs> Blazy's awesome. Even Chris like chimed in with a really good one, actually. Um, <laughs> and uh, well, Lonnie, obviously, I can't, you know, I can't without you. I just can't. Don't leave me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but but the reason why I want to split it up in a way is because I, I you guys kind of will come out a lot more. You guys will like really, really shine through a lot more with the second show, with the follow up show, because it's really literally going to be all about you. Um, I mean, the first show is going to be about you, too. We get to interact with you in real time. We get to, you know, take your comments to the bank and it just will feel the second show and we'll be pushing double the content and it's going to be great. Like it's going to be really, really great. So that aside, let's go to the sneak peeks. And since they're boring, they'll go through a lot faster. <laughs> As Blazy says, they're so boring. I love her. I didn't see the sneak peek. So this will be fun for me. Yeah. Uh, okay, so the sneak peek, yeah, because it's, it's really quick. Um, <laughs> so uh, Althea to Morgan, we should get back to the convoy. We're running low on gas, obviously. Uh, <laughs> runs into some desperate folks trying to siphon gas from another car. Stay away from me! Got like a screwdriver. <laughs> the, old, <laughs> the old Bronx screwdriver stab. Um, <laughs> so... So yeah, they're they're obviously accentuating the fact that like there's there's um ga- gas yeah, shortage gas shortage like yeah. even more so now because now the common the common though sorry I didn't mean that <laughs> the key to the future wink wink um is now in control of the fields um so the reason why it's important to mention this guy is because he shows up later on in the sneak peek and I'll I'll, I'll bring that up now is the um uh. Was it Althea and Morgan are hiding, telling the other guy, this guy, you know, we're, they're hiding in a car. They're saying out loud, hey, we're here to help. And he's like, he's looking out into the distance and he's seeing these settler guys mm. come, come over like the street, over mm. the ridge. And she's like, he's like, that's what they said. Mm. So he must have run away from them too, just like this mm-hmm. other girl. Mm. And it doesn't look like, it doesn't bode well for him, I'll say that much. Yeah. Um, let's see. Grace and Daniel seem out of gas also. And uh, Grace is saying, we can make it on foot. <laughs> and then Daniel says, you, me, a cat with serious behavioral issues. <laughs> and then some walkers come in and they have to boogie. And, oh, um, we, d- we in, the, in the trailer, we saw um, Daniel walking away with uh, Skidmark in the carrier and the someone carrier, else right. that we thought was a Charlie, but turns out probably going to be Grace. It could yeah. still be Charlie. Could still be. Could still be. I would like it if it's Charlie. I really want them to have this like, relationship. <laughs> yeah. It's really cool. Like, it seems like everybody's getting a turnaround. Like, everybody's getting more than what they bargained for in terms of what do you call it like um making up for things i'm still keeping a side eye on charlie oh i thought you can't got a turn around after last no, week. i i'm sh- she's she was here now she's here uh, okay i'll take <laughs> she's coming it. around I'll coming around it. um but yeah like i i just like this idea that like everybody's kind of getting you know it's like it's like um was it like who who does this quote uh you, you can't always the rolling stones you can't always get what you want but if you try but sometimes you, you get what you need yeah mm-hmm. this is kind of like what's going on right now yeah. like they're hoping they can make up for something but then they i think most of these guys are getting like look at morgan he's getting a relationship yeah maybe <laughs> You if he know. wants to, yeah. that's up, that's up to him. <laughs> oh shit! Blazy's shipping Graniel, Grace, and Daniel. Oh, well, <laughs> I, I mean, Grace might be like, Psh, Morgan gave me the cold shoulder. What's up, Dan? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, Lonnie's still rooting for Morgan now. I am too, I've got to admit. And my favorite character. Come on now. <laughs> but I don't, you know, it's funny, like, you'll root for him, but, like, at the same time, I will, even I'll recognize that maybe he's not ready for a re- relationship. <laughs> you think about it? Yeah, a little bit. I, honestly, I think I think enough time has passed. He can let he can so. let himself off the hook, but whether yeah. he will or not is the question. But yeah, that's the that's the key. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anyone yeah. would blame him if he did know. pursue this. No, Jimmy is, <laughs> is talking to Althea and Morgan, and it looks like okay, it looks like Althea and Morgan find the settlers' compound, however mm. big this thing is, because it seems to me that the keys may be entrances to how big oh. this thing is. And it, Holy and crap. If you looked at the placement of where the keys wow. are, this thing is big. It's covering miles. So, yeah, whatever this area kind is. Kind of arc. Wow. 
I don't think it's a complex, but it's like it's definitely like a perimeter of some kind. Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, these are all porticles, is all these keys on the map that Logan's map that wow. you saw in the, in the episode. Mm -hmm. So if that's the case, it looks like Daniel and Grace find mm -hmm. one end, and Althea and Morgan find another, find or find themselves inside the compound. Mm -hmm. And so there's this scene where they get dumped into a pool, and Ginny's coming out like saying, <laughs> like while they're wrestling a walker underwater. Um, that's that's how you make an entrance or something like that. Like while they're drowning with a walker. <laughs> and so like it makes me think, oh, they, they found this place. I don't know what they plan on doing if they're doing going satellite mm. station on these bitches, but like yeah. that never ends well. And no. did they find it on purpose or did they stumble upon it accidentally? I you know, that's a good question. I mean, I'm thinking Daniel and Grace maybe accidentally, but I and maybe Morgan too. I don't, we don't really know. I mean, for all we know they could do another time jump. Could right? yeah. I mean, as far as we know, that map is missing, but if they do a little time jump, then it would have been enough time for people to forget see the map. Yeah. yeah, yeah. To see the map, to forget about it, to not know where, to for us to not know where it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Well, this guy was a. So wouldn't that be a swimmer or floater, like the, the walker? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't, think, I don't think they have any air inside them, so they'd be just be like plopper, It'd be like a yeah. like a stone. Um, but anyway, yes. If you do have anything that we missed, let us know in the comments. I will shoot it off to the to our new Slack <laughs> to see what people think, and then maybe we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll all have a little answer. But um, yes, please, please, please leave a like, subscribe to us, and click the bell if you haven't. You got, come on, um, like our Facebook page and enable notifications. Uh, leave a review on Stitcher and also Apple Podcasts because that really, really helps. Um, that really helps with visibility. I, I actually follow this podcasting um Instagram's Instagram uh, account and like one of the things they said was like dude why don't you, why aren't you incentivizing your you, the people who um, rate your podcast and like give them some free content and so I'm like well, I, should, I should probably do that but if I gave you like all the like all the extra content you'd be like oh snooze what <laughs> like <laughs> it's just us like like before the show going like hey well, did you guys did you guys you want to go to the bathroom did you go to the bathroom <laughs> did you get something to drink yeah and then like afterwards like it'll keep recording be like oh, i'm tired listen like, that's quality that's a lot of stretching it's just quality. quality content right there guys quality content <laughs> we, we, we say a lot of stuff off the air that we can't say on the air too yeah, that's exactly. why it's not on the air oh, like, <laughs> that bitch is so annoying i wish you'd stop commenting in the chat I'm like oh shit no i don't think that's ever happened no that's not, <laughs> never happened ever actually no lucky us um <laughs> we'd be so lucky if that if that, <laughs> we had that situation but uh yeah heckler. unfortunately fun, spotify heckler. doesn't have a rating yeah. system for podcast yeah, so but I, unless I haven't checked in a while, but but if you, if they do 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 that, please please do that. Send us a rating or rate us on or I don't know. Anyway, um, if you haven't and I didn't mention this at the top, there's less than a month left to the giveaway. I'll edit this. And I'll put this in the beginning. There's less than a month left in the giveaway. If you have not put in your entries at squawkingdead.com, you will be missing out on on possibly winning a shout out at cameo.com from one of the cast members of The Walking Dead or Fear the Walking Dead. I just threw up a video promotion. I just threw up i just posted <laughs> a, a new video promotion like um uh last night after the episode aired which actually got a lot of traction but then i forgot to post the igtv because i was at a wedding but anyway i did that this morning and um i enjoy it. i i want to create a like a better um like a more because i i threw all the people that are on cameo.com except for nadine marissa who just joined over the weekend mm -hmm. Um, so I will put in a little, I'll be putting a little bit of her, um, I'll be putting like a little bit of everybody, um, but like l not all 26 people that are on cameo.com this time around. So <laughs> I'll be working on that next week or the week after for the final push, um, advertising and stuff like that. But please check out that video. Uh, it's one of the first few that have been posted either on Twitter or on Instagram or, uh, on Facebook. So check it out. Anyways, thank you for joining us. Uh, I, I think this was probably like the quickest episode or quickest feature feeling episode much like like the episode we just watched uh and thank you rachel thank you carol for joining us thank you for everybody in the chat uh Bla thank blazy you. uh valani julia um, you know miss mazel uh chris everybody so uh we'll see you next week probably on sunday yes on sunday we'll be taking over for talking dead again about yes. time <laughs> um and we'll see you soon take care everybody bye bye me bye